I've got some exciting news for all you Marvel fans out there. I've been following the latest updates, and it's safe to say that the MCU is gearing up for an epic lineup in 2024 and 2025. From mysterious multiverse twists to long-awaited character comebacks, there's a lot to look forward to. But the news that just blew my mind is something else. Tell me what your reaction will be if I say the OG Avengers are gonna be back with a bang. I mean, RDJ as the Iron Man and Scarlet as Black Widow? Shocked? I know you are. So let's not waste any time and dive right into what's coming our way. Echo. Kicking off 2024, we have Echo, a series set to premiere in Disney Plus and Hulu. This show is a Hawkeye spin-off featuring Alakwa Cox as Maya Lopez, a deaf Native American with a unique superpower, the ability to flawlessly mimic her opponents in battle. What's truly groundbreaking here is that Echo marks the first time Marvel is giving a standalone series to a Native American character. The cast is an ensemble of indie genius actors, including Zan McLaren, Graham Greene, Chasky Spencer, Tantu Cardinal, Devery Jacobs, and Cody Lightning. Directors Sidney Freeland and Catriona McKenzie are bringing their talents to the project. Now, the real question is, how will Echo fit into the wider Marvel Cinematic Universe? We're in for a wild ride, as Maya will cross paths with Wilson Fisk, aka Kingpin, and even Matt Murdock, aka Daredevil. It's all connected. Also, the teaser just dropped. It looks good. Madam Web, February 14th, 2024. Next thing in 2024, we have Madame Web swinging into theatres on February 14th. The Sony project has piqued the curiosity of many Marvel enthusiasts, with a stellar cast that includes Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney, Emma Roberts, Isabella Merced, and Adam Scott. This female-led adventure promises to be a game-changer, but the big question is, who will these talented actors be portraying? Could it be different versions of Madame Web from the comics? And do you know that Taha Rahim has been spotted in a Spider-Man-like suit on set? I think there is a massive multiverse event in store. The intersection of Madame Web's comic history, the A-list cast, and the current multiverse craze in superhero narratives leaves us wondering, could this be the next big hit for Marvel? Deadpool 3, May 3rd, 2024. A new era in the MCU with Deadpool 3 arriving on May 3rd, 2024. This film is significant for Marvel Studios as it marks the return of a Fox character as the lead in an MCU movie. But the twist here is that it's not just Deadpool making a comeback. Hugh Jackman is reprising his role as Wolverine, despite previously saying that he was done with the character. What's the story behind this surprising return, and what's the deal with Emma Corrin and Matthew McFadden's undisclosed roles? The rumor mill is buzzing with talk of a multiverse-related plot with Loki's Time Variance Authority and Owen Wilson's Mobius making appearances. This crossover between the Fox X-Men and MCU universes will definitely bring about a seismic shift in Marvel's future. X-Men 97, early 2024. In early 2024, we'll be treated to X-Men 97. Forget about the live-action reboot we were all expecting because Marvel is going back to the root of the animated series that made the X-Men famous in the first place. If you grew up watching the original Saturday morning X-Men series, get ready for a nostalgia trip. We're revisiting the adventures of Rogue, Beast, Gambit, Jean Grey, Wolverine, Storm, Jubilee, and Cyclops, led by Magneto in a killer purple suit. And let's not forget Cable, Bishop, Forge, Morph, and Nightcrawler, as they take on the Hellfire Club, complete with Emma Frost and Sebastian Shaw. Who will voice these beloved characters? Do you have any names in mind? Feel free to tell me, nobody's gonna judge you. Now, the real mind-bender is this. Will X-Men 97 tie to the broader MCU? With the multiverse in full swing, it seems anything's possible. Could we see a crossover with the live-action heroes we know and love? If you ask me, I'll say it's a possibility. Venom 3, July 14th, 2024. Remember the buzz when Tom Hardy's Venom made a cameo in Spider-Man No Way Home? Well, Venom 3 is coming to give us some answers. Slated for July 14th, 2024, this film is set to explore the implications of Venom's appearance in the MCU. But the real question is, what's in store for us with this movie? Will it delve deeper into the multiverse, especially with Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse hinting at crossovers? And what about Tom Hardy's cryptic teaser, screaming at graffiti of a dog? Could it be a hint about the Lobo Cartel, a gang of werewolves from the comics, or something else entirely? The mystery's killing me! Captain America Brave New World, July 26th, 2024. 
After Sam Wilson's journey to becoming the new Captain America in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Captain America Brave New World is set for release on July 26, 2024. But that's not the only twist. The film has some intriguing connections to 2008's The Incredible Hulk. Harrison Ford is stepping into William Hurt's shoes as Thunderbolt Ross, now the President of the United States. Replacing the late William Hurt, this casting choice has us wondering how it will impact the storyline. Plus, with the Thunderbolts team-up movie following just two months later, featuring John Walker and Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, what's going to happen to Sharon Carter after her shocking reveal in the post credit scene of Fours? Plus, Liv Tyler is returning as Betty Ross. What could this mean for the MCU's future, and how will Sam Wilson's cap handle these formidable foes? The possibilities are endless. After his transformation in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Sam is back and he's got a brand new suit courtesy of Wakanda. He'll be fighting the good fight, but without the Avengers by his side. Returning from fours are Carl Lumley and Danny Ramirez, along with Shira Haas and Ruth Batseraf. But here's the kicker, we're told this movie was originally titled New World Order. Why the change? And what does this mean for Sam's journey? The real jaw dropper is that Tim Blake Nelson is joining the cast as Samuel Stearns, aka The Leader. Fans of The Incredible Hulk might recall his character's origin, which dates back to 2008. With a history like that, it's no wonder Marvel is keeping us guessing. Craven the Hunter, August 30th, 2024. Another Sony Spider-Man universe entry for 2024 is Craven the Hunter, releasing on August 30th. But it got pushed back from its original date, and that might just be a good thing. This move could give the film more room to shine, especially with the altered origin story for Aaron, Taylor Johnson's version of Craven. Is Sony trying to turn this iconic Spider-Man villain into an anti-hero, potentially setting the stage for a Sinister Six installment? The potential for this movie is immense as well, but we're left wondering how it's all going to play out. Thunderbolts, December 20th, 2024. The MCU was heading into the Christmas season with Thunderbolts on December 20th, 2024. Originally slated for July 26th, this shift in the release date could mean something exciting. This film brings together a unique lineup featuring characters from different corners of the MCU. Yelena Belova, Bucky Barnes, US Agent, Taskmaster, Red Guardian and Ghost are all part of this anti-hero team. And let's not forget Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, who's had some mysterious MCU appearances leading the charge. The success of the Disney Plus Loki series suggests that audiences are ready for unconventional hero stories. Could this mean the future of MCU films will focus more on characters outside the traditional hero roster? Well, if this happens, Marvel will definitely bring back its box office conqueror era. Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse the Spider-Man franchise continues to evolve with Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse. However, there is a twist in this tale too. Originally scheduled for March 29th, 2024, it's now in limbo due to the ongoing SAG-AFTRA strikes. These strikes may not affect animators, but are causing delays because of voice actors. Could this delay push the release into 2025, or will we see it in 2024 after all? The success of the first animated Spider-Verse movie has set the bar high. Will Beyond the Spider-Verse live up to the expectations and bring us another fantastic story? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Agatha For those of you who couldn't get enough of Katherine Hahn's fabulous performance as Agatha Harkness in One Division, you're in for a treat. In the fall of 2024, Agatha will be your next obsession. What's exciting about this spin-off is that it will be a dark comedy, just like Agatha herself. The show has gone through a few title changes, but it now bears the name Darkhold Diaries. With an ensemble cast featuring Patti LuPone, Aubrey Plaza, Sashir Zamata, Joe Locke, Miles Gutierrez Riley, Deborah Joe Rupp, and Emma Caulfield Ford reprising their roles, we're in for a wicked time. When we last saw Agatha, she was trapped in her sitcom persona by Wanda. But will she stay that way? I don't think so. There will be a heck of a ride for sure. Ironheart 2024. Dominique Thorne takes on the spotlight as Riri Williams in Ironheart. This brilliant engineer creates her own super suit similar to Tony Stark's Iron Man armor in the comics. With an impressive lineup of talent, including head writer Shinarka Hodge and director Sam Bailey and Angela Barnes, this series is bound to be a game changer. What's intriguing is the tie-in with Black Panther Wakanda Forever, where Riri first made her appearance. Jim Rash is also set to reprise her role as the Dean of MIT from Captain America Civil War. Could this mean we'll see connections to other corners of the MCU? Daredevil Born Again 
After the huge success of the Daredevil series on Netflix, the anticipation for Matt Murdock's return is at an all-time high. Daredevil Born Again is set to be an 18-episode series, bringing back Charlie Cox as the Man Without Fear. However, what remains a mystery is how this new series will tie into the events of the Netflix Marvel shows. Will we see characters like Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, or The Punisher making a return? Oh yes, I would love to see all of them in action. Marvel Zombies So, now we have Marvel Zombies, an animated series set to hit Disney Plus in 2024. The premise is pretty much in the name. A zombie apocalypse sweeps through the MCU, turning most of our beloved heroes into flesh-craving undead beings. The inspiration for this series comes from the 2005-2006 comic book miniseries penned by Robert Kirkman, the genius behind The Walking Dead. But we've already seen a glimpse of this twisted world in the What If series. Now we'll get to dive deeper into it, exploring the undead versions of characters like Clint Barton, Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Abomination, Ghost, Scarlet Witch, and many more. On the other side, we have a team of survivors including Yelena Belova, Shang-Chi, Kate Bishop, and even the biker gang of Skrulls. But have you ever wondered, how will this undead apocalypse affect the overarching MCU storyline? And can we see some of these zombified versions cross over into other films? Imagine a zombie Captain America taking on a still-living Iron Man. And what if we see an animated version of RDJ? That'll be a mind-blowing experience for sure. And while we're at it, the success of Marvel Zombies could open the door for even more offbeat alternate universe projects in the MCU. Spider-Man Freshman Year, November 2024 Now we have a project that every Spider-Man fan has been eagerly waiting for, Spider-Man Freshman Year. This animated series is set to swing onto our screens in November 2024. The show promises to give us a new perspective on Peter Parker's journey starting from his high school days. But the big question here is, what kind of fresh perspective can we expect? The official synopsis hints at a life-changing event for Peter during his high school orientation. Could this be tied to his gaining of superpowers, or perhaps something even more unexpected? It's intriguing to think about what fresh angles the MCU might explore, especially in animated form. The cast list includes some notable names, so the series seems poised for success. But will it live up to the high expectations set by previous Spider-Man films? What do you think? Blade, February 14th, 2025 Now, let's talk about a character that's been lurking in the shadows for a while, Blade. Originally scheduled for a 2023 release, the production faced some challenges and delays, but now it's set to hit theatres on February 14th, 2025. This vampire-hunting superhero has been a fan favourite for a long time, and the MCU is finally giving him the spotlight. Mahershala Ali, who made his desire to play Blade known to Marvel Studios during his time on Luke Cage, is set to take on the role. We know that he made a voice cameo in Eternals, which hints at a connection to the MCU, but what form will this connection take? Furthermore, the change in directors and scriptwriters during production raises an eyebrow. How will these changes impact the final product, and will Blade's arrival pave the way for other supernatural heroes and villains to enter the MCU? Imagine Blade crossing paths with Doctor Strange or Ghost Rider. That'll be a great treat for us, for sure! Fantastic Four, May 2nd, 2025. Last but not the least, we have the return of Marvel's first family, the Fantastic Four. This iconic group of superheroes has had a rocky history on the big screen, with two previous attempts falling short of expectations. However, with Disney's acquisition of Fox, the Fantastic Four are finally getting their MCU debut on May 2nd, 2025. We've seen them struggle in previous adaptations, but now they're in the hands of Marvel Studios. How will the MCU version of Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm differ from their predecessors? And who will be cast in these pivotal roles? Well, I miss Jessica Alba, but I don't think she'll be back. Tell me what your choices are. There's also the intriguing tidbit about John Krasinski's appearance as a variant of Reed Richards in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Will he take on the role permanently? Or is there another actor waiting in the wings? The MCU has big plans for the Fantastic Four, possibly on par with the Avengers. What could this mean for the larger MCU narrative? Now, that marks the end of 2024 and 2025, but still, we've got two awesome Avengers films coming up that you won't want to miss. First up, we've got Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Originally, it was supposed to hit theatres in 2025, 
but now it's coming to you on May 1st, 2026. Directed by Destin Daniel Cretton of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings fame, and written by Jeff Loveness, who penned Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, this movie is shrouded in mystery. It's expected to introduce the new Avengers, but we only know for sure that Jonathan Majors will be playing Kang the Conqueror. We're not sure about his future in the franchise, though. Next, we've got Avengers Secret Wars. Originally set to wrap up the multiverse saga in 2025, it got a little delayed and is now hitting theaters on May 7th, 2027. This one's based on some classic Marvel comics, and it's gonna be epic. We're talking incursions and the fate of the MCU world hanging in the balance. Expect to see a lot of your favorite heroes in action, and there might even be some surprise appearances from characters you know and love. As for the director, that's still a mystery, but Michael Waldron, the writer behind Loki, is on board to craft a script. Now, we've covered the basics of these upcoming Marvel projects, but there are so many more questions that come to mind. How will these shows and films connect to the larger MCU storyline? Will we see crossovers between these characters and the existing Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy and our heroes? What new villains and threats will they face, and how will these challenges shape the future of the MCU? Now, remember what I said about Marvel OG at the beginning? Alright, now let's talk about that. Yes, the MCU is setting the stage for a mind-blowing revival, and no, I'm not talking about an epic multiverse crossover though that's always on the cards. It appears that the OG Avengers, the iconic heroes that launched the entire MCU phenomenon, might be dusting off their capes for one more go. Yep, you heard it right. Reports by multiple sources like IGN and Variety suggest Marvel Studios is contemplating reuniting the original Avengers cast. Imagine the return of the mighty Iron Man, portrayed by the inimitable Robert Downey Jr and the formidable Black Widow brought to life by the talented Scarlett Johansson. These characters met their heroic conclusions in Avengers Endgame back in 2019, leaving fans mourning the end of an era. However, recent whispers and rumors point towards the possibility of their resurrection in a new Avengers film. But let's not get ahead of ourselves, this isn't a confirmed deal just yet. Marvel Studios seems to be in the should we or shouldn't we phase, juggling the pros and cons of bringing back these dearly missed heroes. The main snag? Money, of course. Reports indicate that securing the original cast might burn a hole in the already dwindling pockets of the studio. Downey Jr.'s paycheck for Iron Man 3 was a jaw-dropping $25 million. That's no pocket change. It's a conundrum, the tug of war between nostalgia and progression, the balancing act of honoring the past while forging ahead is the heart of this debate. The stakes are high, and the expectations are even higher. The return of the original Avengers cast could mark a pivotal moment in the MCU's history, reshaping its trajectory in ways we can only imagine. So, would you want to see the OG Avengers back in action? Are you intrigued or skeptical about this reported revival? And what impact do you think it would have on the ever-expanding Marvel Cinematic Universe? The future of our beloved heroes and their stories hangs in the balance. As a die-hard Marvel fan, I can't help but wonder about the possibilities and implications of these upcoming projects and the revival of the OG gang. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications for more updates, trailers, and deep dives into the Marvel Universe. Which upcoming project are you most hyped about? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more exclusive insights and comprehensive coverage of every Marvel project as we gear up for an action-packed future in the MCU.